I've had this basket for some time around my house. You can grab them at Hobby Lobby. I found this bumblebee wings in the children's section at Dollar Tree. They had ladybugs and fairy tale wings. And I grabbed the bumblebee wings and I tied it to my basket. Again, I think I've even seen these baskets at Dollar General. Now I apologize, something went wrong with my technology and it completely cut out me making this bow that I'm putting on my bee. But I did grab some other ribbon so that I can show you how I created this big, beautiful bow. And basically you're gonna start with three uh, comparable but different ribbons and preferably grab ones that have uh, the wire within them. They just come out so much nicer and are mo so much easier to work with. And you're gonna be making these folds. They're gonna be the same size. And with this particular bow, I did five folds, just like you're seeing here. Then about a half inch up, you're gonna take some floral wire and tie it really tight. Now you are gonna be stuck with this kind of um, a stem at the bottom. So this bow does not work in every situation, but usually wreaths and anywhere that you can bury uh, the stem, it will work. Most of that tail is gonna be cut off. So now you're gonna take your folds, pull them down, and you're gonna separate your ribbon. I try to uh, change up the direction of each color ribbon. So maybe I'd make the stripe to the right, then the stripe to the left, uh, and keep going back and forth that way. So they're not all being pulled out exactly the same. And once they're all pulled out, you're basically going to just take your fingers and fluff them up and arrange it in a way that you like the way it looks. And that's basically how I made this bow here, just out of different colors. And once I was done, I took some pipe cleaners in black and I attached them in the front of the wings to my basket in a hidden area. I took a pen and rolled down the top portion to kind of just finish off my bee with his tentacles. I'm a lover of bees, as you can see and they are coming back on the scene as being kind of a hot item. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more tutorials from Chalk It Up Fancy, go to YouTube. And for any paint products or brushes, go to chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you.